Alright, welcome back. This is Viper AS once again for Viperland and still playing Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Still making my way to the capital. But I should be there shortly. Ah, damn it. In the wrong way. I'm about a third of the way there, if I recall correctly. I haven't exactly checked the map, so I base this off of absolutely nothing but my memory. Which is mediocre at its best. <laughs> so. We could be about a third of the way there, we could be practically there, we could be nowhere near it. Who really knows? More harpies. Hello, harpy. Come down here. I want to say hi. That was the wrong combination. I meant to do that one. Draw their attention. Then stab at them. Fine. I saw someone go down over here. Ah, you're on the ground. You stay there. Well, that didn't work. That did, though. Kick him in the back of the head. You stay down. Sweet. Level up. Sweet. Alrighty. Still moving ahead. That's where the cart goes. Well, that's like an optional area, which I'm going to head up to anyway. I don't think it has too much. <clears throat> I think it's just uh, tiny little things to loot. If that, actually. Oh, there's people. Yeah, everybody's... Oh, and a chest. When in doubt, steal everything from people. What the? I wanted to grab the coins. You suck. That's great. Uh, I'm glad to... Oh, that's why. It's harpies. I was about to say, I'm glad your fire is mine. I appreciate it. I like fire, but... Alright, where is... my escort people? Are they still over here? Wow. Oh, if you drift too far away, they stop moving. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. It does give you a wide area to go in. It's just, if you get too far away, it goes, no, no, no go back. If I recall correctly, when we get about halfway down there, they're going to knock that boulder down. It's going to start coming after us. And I don't really think there's anything we can do about it. So, well, just going to have to sit back and do nothing about it. Mercedes is tripping balls over there. The cart is moving at one mile an hour. She is sprinting everywhere. Yes, that it would be the interesting side of having a cold. You get the raspy voice. Come on. Come on, cart. Cool guys don't look at falling boulders. They just walk away. Hiya! I stab at your feet. Alright, let's go. At this point, I believe we've passed the halfway mark to the capital. Yep, behind us. Stand clear. Like, I got a choice. It's a narrow hallway. It's a rock coming after us. There's not much to do about it. Come on. just It does break after a while. It does eventually just go... Like that. <laughs> Highly damaging the cart and nicking Mercedes. Neither of which I really care about. The cart's going to make it just fine. <coughs> and Mercedes is cool, but whatever. Come on, let's go. Hiya! Hiya! Do you know what? You come here. Ha 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 ha! When in doubt, throw Mercedes. Oh, I am a, I am a very light burden again. And now we've got more harpies. Yes. More harpies. You do not attack me. You die. Ow, ow, ow. Haha. -ha. These harpies aren't really much of a threat. Uh, the only real threat they pose is if they do try and carry you away like that, because a lot of the fights are on dangerous terrain. It's very easy to fall off. You're much more likely to have that happen than to actually die from the harpy themselves. That said, I can't seem to hit the broadside of the barn, so I'm just gonna... Ow! No, 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 no. Just gonna let my people deal with it. Hey, they yelled at me. Oh yeah, I can kind of lure things in, can't I? Maybe that'll help. Ah, it's on the ground! Die! Oh, sweet. Dropped a feather. And it took me like nine tries to pick it up. <clears throat> Keep going. So just, oh, that's a wolf. Just to give a visual. So, 
we left from there, I think. That's the castle. A little ways in. So we're about halfway. Super wolf, you need to die. Now that you're down. Ha! Now that's probably going to be a combo I'm going to attempt more often than not. Because that seems. If that really does as heavy damage as they say it does, I'm going to have to keep up with that. <clears throat> oh, there's a single wolf left. Thank you, Mercedes. And I actually got the, the experience for it. I'm not too shabby. Hey, look, goblins. You take that. And then, you guys, I miss completely. <clears throat> uh, yes, there's a lever there. I guess that's how we move forward. Thank you for that. Hiya! Oh, that's one less goblin. Two less goblins. And now we pull that one lever. And the gate goes down, or up. <clears throat> the path becomes less unobstructed. Alright, more goblins. I can take you. Come on. Bring it on, goblins. Uh, that's the other thing. Since I've gone to a area that I believe you get a quest to go behind the waterfall later on. So, going there now, or when I did go there, actually powered me up more so than I should be at this point. But that's what happens in an open world game a lot of the time. Quest log updated. Make for the capital. Thank you. I didn't know that. So now I've got slightly better armor and equipment. Oh, there's still an enemy back there. Fine, fine. You can die. Ah, oh, Mercedes is holding her own anyway. Yeah. Well, that just destroyed the goblin. There's not even a body left. Holy crap. I'm gonna try it with this guy now. Yeah, that's that's pretty potent. He uses a ton of stamina, but whatever. I'm okay with that. I should pay attention to how much it uses, though, so the next time I want to use it... Yeah, that uses like a quarter... about a third of the whole thing. Not too bad. Oh, I should point out, if you do play as the, the archery type class, uh, they do have weak points. Like, it may be obvious, but aim for the head of goblins, and it works. It's hard to hit. I mean... It's not easy to be accurate in this game when things are running around and all this crazy shit's happening, but it is doable, and your attacks do a lot of damage. Cyclops is the obvious weak points as well. I didn't mean to do that one. I meant to do that one! Ah, and it leveled up my apprentice. Well, I guess I didn't have to hit that guy. <clears throat> that would be the new combustion spell, by the way. Very flashy, very fiery things explode. That's the capital! That's where we're going. So we just gotta go down this path and over to there. More goblins. Oh no. I guess I'll just have to keep stabbing them. Shoot down. Nope, and that. <laughs> that also works wonders. You die! Did I get both of them? Sweet. Got both of them. Should start picking up these hunks of ore. Oh, I got other people to do it for me. Screw that then. I missed. Well, that didn't. La -dee -da, moving forward. I honestly think it's just a few packs of goblins and then we're there. Yes, the capital is in sight. I just gotta make sure we're still keeping the cart with us. Put away your weapon. Why? Who knows? What's around here? This, oh, bandits. Cover distance. And then... Shank you in the face. What the foot? That didn't even really hurt. After those undead. These guys are nothing. Here on the ground? Well, that's a shame for you. We drop coins. Sweet. More coins. Money is always valuable. When in doubt, money. <laughs> money also goes very quickly. Because when you switch classes, quite often you need to get new equipment for the class you've switched to. 
many times your old equipment just doesn't work for it. Like if I were to switch, when I switched from my Thiefy class to the upgraded like sniper bow version of it, I had to get a long bow. My tiny little short bow didn't really cut it anymore. It wouldn't let me equip it. I did get to keep the daggers as my offhand weapon, so that was cool, but I imagine <clears throat> I may need new equipment for switching, which I do plan on doing. Come on. This is the downside of the escort quest. When you've cleared everything and you're just waiting for them to catch up. As long as they're still moving. Because even once I hit the gate, I still have to wait for them. <coughs> Checking the time. Time is good. Alright. You can mercilessly slaughter the cows that they have, the livestock. I don't think it really does anything. I think you have a chance of dropping something, but I don't think it's even experience. I didn't do as much as I thought it would. How about I spin around in a circle? There you go, some beast steak. No experience or anything, just that. Still gives you something to do while waiting for your damn caravan. <clears throat> the bright side is, you only have to do this once. You never have to freaking escort these guys here again. Super slow. Yeah. Grand Sorin. Mean, yes, the capital. We are here. There's a lot of nifty little hidden things and nooks and crannies all over the city, most of which I never even found. Uh, most of which I won't be finding all of them during this playthrough. But there might be times where I go, oh, I'm going to explore a little bit. So that might happen. As it is, since we've done an episode mostly of selling and an episode mostly of escorting, my next one's going to be as action-packed as I can fit it. I'm going to try and do actual quests and stuff. <coughs> this episode, the end of it's going to be just me getting here, me turning in this quest, me switching uh, vocations, perhaps. I kind of want to, but I also kind of want to see what I get. Because, like I said, every vocation plays very differently, and I've never played this one. I kind of want to see what this gets, like, towards the end. So I'm unsure. I'll probably switch, though. We've arrived! Yay! <clears throat> yes, always keep your eyes open, that's good. Uh, starting from this point forward, you also get a ton of different side quests and little things. Not all of which I've actually done before. I tried to do the majority of them, but I never did all of them. <clears throat> After a while, I just started going towards the main storyline, which is unfortunate. There's a lot of stuff to see in this game, and all of it I want to see, so... Oh, we have a cinematic. <coughs> Alright, so I guess we gotta go to the castle. Uh, da -da. I'll skip that, because I don't care. Because, oh, well... Sir Arisen, that's great. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, you do get more pawns and stuff around here. I'm more familiar with this place. So this is Apothecary, that would be health items, very beneficial, as I'm sure you could figure out. These are the weapon people, uh, weapons and armor, and this is the inn. <clears throat> this is important, because the inn is where you go to switch your vocation. <clears throat> guild, for, uh, guild for local adventures, speak with the innkeep, cover health, learn skills, manage to store out items. Additionally, once you've grown enough as Arisen, you'll be able to change vocations here. Oh, I can't yet? What the bollocks? <coughs> I could have sworn you could as soon as you got here. Change location? Yeah, you can. So what does it matter? It costs discipline, I believe, to change locations. You can switch to anything you want. They, they retain their level, so if I were to switch back to fighter after switching to something else, it would keep its rank. Uh, they give you a brief little description. So I could switch to the warrior, which is the big two-handed weapon. Picture, uh... Uh, what's the guy from Berserk? Guts or Cloud. Any of those stereotypical, I wield a big two-handed weapon characters. Uh, Ranger was the fun character I played, the sniper person. Sorcerer, big boom. I'm probably going to switch my chick to that. <clears throat> Mystic Knight. That's a combination of the fighter with magic. So weapons, swords, maces, staves, magic shields. It's a hybrid vocation. Versatile warrior that can also assist with enchantments and support skills. 
You check details, which are cool, I guess. I'm gonna try the, the assassin. I never tried either. <clears throat> and the the magic archer is a lot of fun. It's very different from regular archer. It actually plays kind of like a lock-on shooter. Picture kind of like a like res. Like you can lock onto a bunch of targets at once and then fire at homing arrows. It's a lot of fun. But I think I'm gonna try Mystic Knight. That used a bunch of my discipline, but I'm okay with that. Once you've unlocked a class, by the way, you can switch back to it at any time for free. So now I've unlocked this, I can go back and forth between this and Fighter for free, no extra discipline cost. <coughs> and your people cannot do hybrid classes. They can only do pure 100% classes. So I'm going to upgrade her to the Sorcerer. So she can start ca casting down really big spells. That said, I believe that makes her lose her ability to heal. Which is quite unfortunate. Ah, oh, it unequips everything? You suck. So I need a new shield. My regular shield will not work. I can equip staves, however. Undecided whether I will or not. I think I like swords better. Da -da. Equip and distill. Anything better? No. And it looks like I can, I can equip mostly the same stuff. Which is good, because I had pretty decent stuff. Doesn't seem to restrict things too much other than shield. Can I not equip the nails? Oh, I can. And my chick needs to be equipped. <sighs> I wish they'd keep let you keep the stuff that you'd be able to wear anyway. But alas, that is not the case. So quickly going through all of this stuff. And last but not least, the head. <coughs> Alright. And if I have enough money left, I don't think I... I can't learn anything, because I don't have anything else for these right now. Can I set new abilities? So it looks like I have... I kept most of those, but I also gained staff abilities. So I should keep a staff on hand. <coughs> and I can only use three. So those switch... Ah! Shield abilities. What is that? Fire counter. Sends foes staggering back when the user blocks an attack. Perfect block. Blasts foes with a fireball. Not bad. <clears throat> and we still have the Vigilance, because those are augments that work for everything. Oh, damn it. <coughs> so she... I forgot to set her stuff, just to be safe. Set skills for her. Yep, that's why I needed to do that. That's already there, so we do that. That. Combustion. I don't care about poisoning people. I'd rather electrify them. Unfortunately, I do lose my heal, which means I have to hire minions now that have heals. A slight downside. But it does mean I get to control my minion that has the big spells. And teach them to her whenever I want. Uh, escort quest, I'll do that some other time. And I need to buy a magic shield if I have enough money. Let's see what we got. Buy. <coughs> Is it under weapons, I think? Do they really not have... Oh, well, that counts, but I can't afford it. So it's time to sell some stuff. Don't care, don't care, don't care. I should hold on to these, I'm sure, but whatever. Uh, getting close. <clears throat> Sell some wolf pelts. Elongated cl uh, no, I should hold on to those. Anything that says new, I should hold on to just in case I need it. Is that enough, or do I need to sell a little bit more? Ah, I can sell the round shield. I should hold on to that, though. 
fuck it. Sell the round shield. Is that enough to buy it now? Come on. Damn it. <clears throat> so close. Alright, well, time to sell a little bit more. Do I have nothing to sell? Oh, she needs a new staff, too. Uh, I'm going to switch her back for now, then, probably. <coughs> Do they have nothing? I don't want to sell those. I want to keep those. If those are indeed mine. Aha! I can sell that. I think... Ah, there we go. That's much better. That should be plenty enough. <clears throat> yeah, that's perfect. Now, I can go down and buy my shield. Wooden wall. Thank you very much. Yes, I'd like to change my equipment. Yeah. I should check my storage and keep a staff on my person as well. And really quick, change my chick back. <coughs> because, yeah, I can't afford a weapon for her right now. Oh, I could freaking. Uh, Alright. It's okay. I'll just re equip everything again. My own fault. I know it's all just the stuff with the stars on it anyway. <clears throat> it's all the stuff she was wearing before. I forgot a cape. Don't care right now. There we go. Now my shield is enchanted with fire. And my weapon abilities are the same ones. Alright, so what else was I going to do here? Oh, I was going to check the, the Pawns Guild thing. That's where they want me to go anyway. Which is this way? Yes, it is this way. <coughs> oh, you got stuff to say. <coughs> oh, down and around here. This is the area you'd go if you are not connected to the internet. This is where you find the Pawns to hire. People like this. There you go, level 13. I'm not going to hire them, but they're scattered all around here. This is where you hire the non-internet pawns. And here we got a long way to my coming. Sweet. Quest successful. <clears throat> uh, I'll check that next time. This episode is running long already. I just wanted to check the other stuff down here. So we have a new notice board which has completely different quests than the other notice board. Very useful. Uh, snow harpies, undead, skeletons, ogres, rabbits. I'm not going to accept them all. Uh, you know what? I am going to accept them all now. There's no downside to them. It's not like I have a quest log that's getting filled up. I'll just do those as it goes. And down here, I don't know if we can go down here yet. Oh, why are they talking about downloadable content? Because I think around here is where I can get that content, actually. Alright, fine, I'll hear more. <clears throat> oh, they were going to point me down there. This is a big dungeon-y type area. It opens up into a bigger dungeon-y type area later in the game. But I think I had to talk to this guy first, and he just tells me, go down there. <clears throat> but I'm not going to do that right now. Because I want to see if I can talk to this guy and get the downloadable content, because I think he's the innkeeper of the area. <coughs> or I am completely mistaken. There's somebody around here who I should talk to. Knowledge chair? I don't care. What do these guys got to say? Well, thanks, that was helpful. Except not. Does this have anything new? It does! Oh! This would be... Oh, these are training opportunities. I guess these are... Probably from the DLC, actually. Which is cool, but I, I know I have DLC items, too. This episode is really running long. Wow, really running long. Uh, oops. I regret nothing. 
All right, I'll figure that all out next time. Thank you for watching. This has been Viper AS for Viperland, playing Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. I apologize for the long episode, except, well, eh, whatever. It happens. Thank you for watching. This is going to be the end of this session, so I'll pick up next time back where I left off, right here. So tune in next time for some more Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen or whatever else I may be playing at that point in time. Thank you for watching. Till next time.